A lot of you that watch Ben's vlogs will know that I'm a massive fan of the breakfast burrito from Giro. So today I'm going to try and make my own. Simple salsa, one red onion, um, going for some organic tomatoes. I like the little guys, so cherry tomatoes are nice and sweet. And then on top of that, throwing in some chives for flavor. Some bacon, some sausages, eggs obviously, some plain tortilla wraps. I've been told this is the classic mayo to go for. We've got some avocado as well. So the first step would be to fry up your bacon and your sausages. And then while you're doing that, you can also get your eggs on the boil. One little trick that I've learned when you're doing bacon is that you throw it into a cold pan and um, apparently it cooks better that way. So an option that you do have, if you don't want your salsa to be too spicy, because these onions can have a bit of a bite, um, is you can blanch the onions, which is basically just putting them in hot water in a little bowl for two minutes. Just grab a couple of your chives, pick your favorite ones, and just give them a little bit of a chop. And when that's looking nice, all we need to do, just add a little bit of olive oil, just a touch, give it a swirl and you've got a pretty looking salsa in there. And you just want to chuck your eggs in the water. Um, oh, I wouldn't recommend cracking them when you throw them in though. We're going to do them for about six minutes. So we set a timer for that. As you cook the bacon, you'll notice that it starts to shrink. So some space is freed up and we'll just chuck in our sausages. So we're going to do one per burrito. Nice and noisy. Okay, so the bacon's looking done. The eggs are pretty much done, just give them a little turnover and you can give the sausages a turn as well. We'll let these sit for a bit and then drain off all the hot water and run them under some cold water. This bacon is okay. Oh, look at that. There we go. Okay, these sausages have to be done by now. So we'll just put them over to the side to cool off a little bit. It's a cool little trick that you can do to impress your friends. So you peel a little bit off the back end like this. So you've got about that much space. And then you peel a little bit off the top end. So that you've got about that much. And then grip around the shell like this and you just give it the old... You just want to cut it. I'm cutting it lengthways. I'm pretty sure it's not going to make a difference. The sausages have cooled down enough for me to pick them up. And then we're just going to cut these guys. Oh, they're hot, actually. We're just going to cut them lengthways. We're going to start building the burrito. Just get your wrap ready. And the first step would be to lay down the mayonnaise. Just going to hit it right in the middle. Tomato always needs to go with the mayo. Then on top of that, we'll lay down some bacon. We've got two strips. Then on top of the bacon, we're gonna lay down the eggs. You know bacon and eggs are friends, so they gotta stick together. On top of that, we've got our sausage. On top of the sausage, we'll put the avocado. Lay it down. You don't necessarily need to use half an avo. The best way to keep everything inside, especially if you're gonna try and toast it, is you just wanna turn it so that you actually have more space on these sides. Put both sides in then fold this guy over and then you kind of scrunch it and then just wrap it in like that tuck in any edges it's pretty much done normally you just throw this into like a, a sandwich toaster or something but we don't have one today so we're improvising we're just going to use a griddle iron griddle a griddle iron we're going to use one of these things and uh just going to pop it on there it helps heat everything all the way through so these have warmed up a little bit um oh Yep, warmed up nicely. So we're just gonna give them a little turn. Okay, so these are looking done. We'll just take them off. And then we're just gonna give it a cut. You can cut it however you want. And it should look good on the inside. Let me see, moment of truth. I'm gonna be uploading a picture of the final dish onto Instagram. Also, everything is gonna be on the blog. Um, you'll be able to get the full recipe, how I did it, method, all the kind of apparatus and stuff that you need. Um, but for now, only thing that's left is to give it a try. Mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah, oh yeah. If you guys do make this burrito, please send me pictures on Instagram or Twitter or tag me in something so that I can see how yours turned out because this is one of my favorite breakfast foods. Um, so I'm happy to share it with you and I hope you guys enjoy it too. And just give it the old